What's going on guys? It's Dipsy. We all feel it. We're not really sure what it is. We, we really can't even describe it. But everyone who's starting to spiritually awaken, everyone who's becoming woke, becoming the chosen one, you're really feeling what I'm talking about. You're feeling that feeling that something is going on. A big shift is happening. So let me break down why this shift is happening and why more people are starting to wake up to the world that's really around them. Not this fake world that they like to perpetuate on TV, but the real world that's really in front of them. So listen, when it comes to what's been happening, right, you've got to understand a question opens the mind. But by that same token, a statement is what closes the mind. So we live in a society that indoctrinates us into accepting statements, into accepting certain things of, as an objective reality without really questioning it. So anytime you ask a question, you're always looked at as crazy. But when you ask a question, what you're really doing is allowing the full spectrum of your mind to, to utilize itself to its best ability. So the reason why you're different than the people around you is because you ask questions, you want more knowledge, you wanna become more enlightened. And it's usually because some sort of life event has impacted you in a way where you felt it necessary to ask questions. So because you are asking questions now, you're starting to see things around you that were really there this entire time, essentially. So when it comes to everything that's been happening, guys, you have to understand when you ask these questions, when you start to become aware of the things around you, now we're really in the end game. What is the end game? Well, you got to understand because of the coronavirus, because of COVID, because of certain things, it's giving people more time to ask important questions. So you can no longer just indulge in escapism. Escapism is what everyone loves to do, whether you know it's watching your favorite sports. There's no sports right now, at least as of right now, there's gonna be more sports down the line, but right now people aren't watching sports the way they used to. So that's a form of escapism that you just lost. So now you're more in tune with yourself because now you can't escape to your favorite football game or your favorite basketball players playing. You can't escape to that. Where are you gonna to run to? Nowhere, besides your own mind and your own thoughts, which you should have been utilizing to begin with. So that's number one. Number two, a lot of people indulge in escapism, just being at work in general, like you being at work, since people got these mass layoffs, they haven't been at work. So they've had to confront not only their own thoughts, but they've had to confront, you know, spending more time with their family, their kids. And a lot of people are collapsing mentally because of this thing. But interestingly enough, even though it has its detriments, it's also a positive because people are starting to ask questions like, damn, does the government really have our best interests? You know, they're coming under the guise of they have our best interests and they want to get us all vaccinated and safe. Yet they're the same people who have allowed these problems to manifest over decades, which is why we're even being impacted now to begin with. So when you start to ask these questions, you, you realize they all lead back to one source. And you start to understand the team that you're really playing for. When I talk about certain things in my videos, guys, and I bring certain things to you guys' attention, it's not to inspire desperation or inspire fear and make you guys think the world is some dark place you can't overcome. It's to allow you guys to see the problems we have in the world, make you aware of them, and then together as a collective, we can combat them. Because truth be told, the number one issue with the human race is we can't move as a collective. It's so difficult for people to move as a collective because we're in a society that invites uh, arguments. You know, it invites arguments with no solution. It's nothing is constructive. It's all divisive. So, so, so we need to move as a collective. And the reason I, I make videos is to spread awareness so that when the time comes, we will be able to move as a collective.